hello, language learners from around the world. Thanks to the number one website in the universe for learning a second language, verbling.com. Sí, 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 sí. Thanks to verbling.com. Uh, I am here this hour to help you. And so please join the class. And this hour we are going to be doing some reading. We are going to watch a short video. And I hope that all of you will be focused 100% on communication. This is a very nice story about playing one of the most famous board games that comes originally from the United States. It's called Scrabble. Scrabble. And it has to do with spelling words and no. winning points. All right. And so what, what I would like to do is to have everyone download the document, please. So the document is called CS1. Uh, there we go. And if you can open up this document on your computer, you will, one, be able to read the text clearly, and two, you will be able to copy and paste the words that you do not know into an online dictionary or into an online translator. Now, this story is a little bit advanced because it was written by a native speaker. And this story is for other native speakers to read. And so the content is a little bit advanced, but it's a simple story. It's a true story. And with my help, we can understand what the person wants to share with all of you. And so what I would like to do is to ask people to quickly say hello and to tell us what board games are popular in your country. And board games could be chess, checkers, monopoly, uh, these are games that are played in small groups of people and you place a board on the table and usually there are some pieces or players that you move around on the board. Okay? And so we want to ask about popular board games in your uh, country. And so, um, Abdal, Said, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Where are you connecting from? I'm connecting you from Morocco. Okay, great. And are you familiar with board games? And could you tell us which board games are popular in your country? Well, actually, I don't play any board games, but uh, I think my the the board games which is uh, famous here in Morocco is uh, the poker. Poker. Oh, okay. Yeah. So really? Oh, okay. And so, uh, but that that's a game that you play with cards, correctly? Uh, I'm sorry, correct? You play poker I with don't... cards? Uh, not with cards. Uh, sorry, uh, I'm thinking of the game poker, where you play poker with cards. Playing cards? Yes, they play cards here. Yes, okay, great. And so that's another game uh, that's very, very uh, popular. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. What I'm looking for are board games. So, uh, uh, but, but thank you so much. I'm going to move on and see if some people can come up with examples of board games. And perhaps now 
people are playing these board games as video games on the computer, <laughs> all right? But poker, uh, great. It was very, very popular a few years ago uh, in North America. Thank you. Uh, and Adham, Adnam, are you there? Adnam Ali? Now you need to turn on your microphone. So I'm going to turn on the screen share here for a second. So if everyone can please look at the video image, we ask that people use the microphone button to turn off and turn on their microphone. So this keeps our classroom quiet and eliminates the background noise. You also have an option to turn on and off your microphone below your video image. And in a minute, I would like to show a YouTube video. This is the button that you push on to download or to activate the YouTube application. To turn on the app. And so, uh, Adnam, are you there? Okay, I, I'm sorry, Adnam, we, we cannot hear you. So try to get your microphone working. And Dastan. Hello, welcome. Hello. So please tell the group uh, who you are and where you are connecting from. Hello everybody, my name is Dastan and I'm from Kazakhstan. All right, and do you understand the idea of board games? Mustafa has uh, an example, chess. Chess is a, um, a classic board game. Maybe it's the original board game. Monopoly is another board game. Do you understand, Dustin? Yes, uh, maybe not. And, and so again, uh, is this a popular board game? One. N-O-N-O-N-O-N-O-N-O-N-O-N-O-N-O-N-O-N-O-N-O-N-O-N-O-N-O-N-O-N-O-N-O-N-O-N-O-N-O-N-O-N-O-N-O-N-O-N-O-
there's a game that you can Google uh, image, and it's called Chinese Checkers. And you use little players that are actually marbles. This is the, the, the toy that children play with, marbles. All right, great. Thank you. And Lorenzo, welcome. Thank you, Jeff. How are you? I'm fine. Great. Mm. So I'm from I'm from Dominican Republic. Uh, the king of board games here is Dominoes. Okay, right. Dominoes is the yeah. Technically, that's not a, a a board game, but it's very similar. The idea is similar. Uh, yeah. Okay. And so. But, Hmm. Yeah, and hmm. what kind of dominoes do you play? No, I don't, none. Oh, Anyone? You you don't play dominoes? I play when I used to play board games. I play solitaire from cards. Oh yeah, so card games. Card. Yeah, card games. Um, as you said, uh, online is better now. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's faster. And Enrique has a, a link to uh, the game that he's talking about. I wanted to read Che's comment. Thimble Riggy Shell game is the most popular game in our country. Every politician is able to play it with us. <laughs> okay, and so uh, I, I don't know what game that is, but I think that's <laughs> where you try and steal someone's it's money. It's good. It's curious because it's similar here. <laughs> oh, is it? Okay. All right. Great. Hello. Yeah. And and so I'm going to move on. And so Man, okay. uh, go ahead. Hello. Hello. My name is uh, Man. <clears throat> I'm 22 years old. Uh, I like swimming and reading. Great. Great. And uh, so, oh, sorry, where do you swim? In a swimming pool or lakes or the ocean? No, I prefer a swimming pool. Okay, great. I, I really like swimming as well. So, uh, do you know of any table games, board games, or card games that are popular in your country? Yeah, we play uh, chess. Ah, okay. And can you play chess? I used to play chess, but now it's like diff uh, difficult for me. Yeah, okay. Uh, I was never good at chess. That's not how my brain works. <laughs> uh, and uh, someone, uh, Ami, is is uh, put backgammon. Ah, okay. That's, I think that's maybe the, is that the, okay. Backgammon is a perfect example of a board game. Yes, and I enjoy playing that. Thank you, man. And then uh, Mustafa, hello. Yeah. Hello. Please introduce yourself, and can you share with us a popular board game, table game, card yes. game? Hi, everybody. My name is Mustafa. I'm from Iraq. In my country, there are three popular board games. It's chess. It's the first popular game because there are champion chess in primary school, yes. middle school, yeah. high school, college. It's, it, it's the most popular game. Yes. And, and it's so also, international too. Yes. yes. We have also Domino and okay. also we have Backgammon. Backgammon. Okay. Yeah. And which is your favorite game? Chess because I win in money prices in this game. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, okay, so you're good at chess. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Wow. And so, have you played chess on the internet? I played and I reached to high level in it, but it's just, I think, for two or three times, not more. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, Selma, hello. Uh, hello, teacher. Please tell us where you are connecting from, and we're talking about popular board games, table games, card games. Okay, teacher. <coughs> okay, my name is Salma, and I am from Algeria. Well, the popular game here in Algeria is uh, 
people here play, I mean, the older people play chess mm -hmm. and uh, the poker, but the, for the young people, they play this new game. I don't know how they play it, but it is called the Kakasson. Okay, sorry. And, and can you describe it? Uh, Carcasson. <laughs> uh, I cannot describe it. Can I yeah. give you the... Can I Google yeah. that? Well, sure. And, and if, if you can try to Google the term and find the English translation. I, I think okay, if people, instead of sharing too many links, which we may not want to click on, Please try to give us the name in, in English if you can find it. So, great. Yeah. And I'd like to say hello to Vincenzo. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Great. Okay. Okay. The, the, perhaps you do. You know me because you have seen already uh, in the, the class that, we, that you have before. Huh? Yeah, I am from Rome, and yeah, uh, okay. I think that most popular in uh, in Italy is always Monopoly. Monopoly. Okay. There is now another playing. I think another thing that is very common. I, uh, I actually I think it is uh, very common. It's now a uh, play. That is Razzle. No, no, I don't know if you, if you, if you, yeah, perhaps you, you don't know I, it. I, I don't recognize that. It's something you can that. play yeah. your... Sorry, so uh, what, what kind of game uh, is it? It's a thing that you, um, that you play with you. Oh, okay. Razzle. Wait a moment. I, can, yeah. I try to... Uh, yeah, see if I you can find uh, the, the, the name in English. Uh, uh, I'll yeah. All right, great. Okay, and, and what I'm going to do is, is move on. Yeah, uh, with because, yeah. Sorry, I'm just going to move on. And uh, what I'd like to do is to open up the document. And I'd like to start by showing everyone um, the game of Scrabble. because And this has to do with the English language and that <laughs> spelling words correctly letter by letter is quite difficult it's quite challenging and so uh, what I'd like to do is to play a short video now I hope that people will download the document that I have prepared and I would like you to go down the document to where it shows you how to play Scrabble. There is uh, the last part of the document shows you how to play Scrabble. So I'm going to put the link into the Verbling chat box so you can click on that link and watch the YouTube video in a separate window. Oh, and now I'm also going to click on the YouTube application so that people can watch the video on the Google Hangout screen. And so if people, if people are watching the video, uh, I'm sorry, if people are watching the class, then they need to watch the YouTube video in a separate window. And if everyone could keep their
فجأة ما صرت أقدر أسمع Wow, okay, I understand that that is very fast, but there is a, um, there is the transcript for this video on the document that I have prepared for everyone, and we are stopping because we're watching a video, and so if you are watching the class, one of the viewers, you need to click on the YouTube video link to watch the video in a separate window. All right, so sorry. So let's continue. At this point, I would like to start reading our story. So this is a story about a woman who hates the game of Scrabble because she remembers playing Scrabble with her parents when she was a child and there was too much stress and there was too much pressure and so she became afraid of playing Scrabble alright and so what I would like to do is to open up the document and again if all of the students can remember to please download the documents so that you can read the text clearly and so that you can access a translator or an English dictionary to help you with some of the definitions. And so, Abdo, could you please start reading our story for us? I don't know where to find the document. Yes, now do you see the document on the screen share? Screen share. Yeah, my video image. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Okay. And Mustafa has helped us out. Thank you, Mustafa, by posting the direct link to the document in the Verbling chat box. So you have two options. You can open the document by clicking on the link that Mustafa yes, has put. The link. Yeah, okay, great. Or people can read the document from the share screen, but it is better to read directly from the document. So, uh, if you can, uh, go ahead, Abdo. I'm downloading the document now. Oh, oh okay, great. So, I, I will come back to you. Uh, Ahmad, yeah. hello, welcome. Uh, could you start reading our story for us? Yes, okay. Um. Um, sc scars and uh, legacies by sorry, Moira. Yeah, sorry, just from the very beginning, uh, I want to make sure that people understand where this story is from. Okay, okay. Yeah. From yeah. Chicken Soup for the Soul. Okay, from Chicken Soup, uh, soup for the Soul, Family Matters. Okay, and just quickly, the series of books is called Chicken Soup for the Soul. This particular book this collection of stories, I guess, is all about families. It's called Family Matters. This is the collection of stories. And great, Ahmad, could you con continue, please? Okay. Uh, Scars and Legacies by Moira Rose Dono. Uh, okay, I, I think uh, it's Donahue. Do Donahue, okay. Donahue. 
Now, okay. just give me one second. This yes. is the name of the story, and this is the woman who wrote the story. And these are true stories. So Moira is the person telling the story. She wrote the story about herself. Now, can we skip the famous quotation, please? And could you start with, they try not to. Okay. Thank you. Okay. They try not to, but all parents scare their children in some fashion. Some children are luckier than others in the type, <clears throat> uh, in the type or uh, number of sc uh, scares, scars. 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 Okay, scars. Yeah. They bear, they bear, but uh, even the lucky ones can be better for years. My sc my scar, uh, a phobia that I am um, only now, uh, after almost forty five years overcoming and it's uh, still hard to say in public but here goes I am scramble phobic yes <laughs> okay that's right uh, I hi hyperventilate hyperventilate I hyperventilate if anyone even say the word scrabble <laughs> okay and this is a picture of someone who has a very large scar on their face. A scar is the permanent mark that's left after an injury, a cut, or a wound. All right. And so if I could get people to please, um, uh, if I could get people to please uh, explain the situation here, we, we need to start this story off by understanding the situation. Anyone who can give me some ideas? She is 45 years old. Okay, she is now 45 years old. Good. But uh, when, when is the story, when, when is she going to start talking about the story? When did she become afraid of playing Scrabble? Maybe because she thought or she thinks. And she was so, sorry, just first of all, uh, she's actually not 45 years old. I'm sorry. So, I, I, I just need, but thank you. Great job. This that's done. Yes. Sir. Well, what is forty-five years? What does she mean by forty-five years? And sorry, I need I need the students to help me here. <laughs> the time. So the time has I, I just, okay. So what you need to do is just turn on your micro so, uh, microphone and say Jeff, and I will call on you. And then please just give us a piece of information. And so uh, uh, Dastan has said that she is 45 years old. But sorry, that's not correct. But uh, she's older. But it's OK. Uh, that's awesome. But let's keep trying to understand the story. Yeah, great. OK. 45 yes. years struggling. OK, struggling to do what? <laughs> to Stand. overcome uh, the situation. Uh, okay, overcome what, Mustafa? Yes, because overcome oh, the situation. Yeah. Okay, sorry. What, what sorry. is sorry? What is the situation though? This is very important. And I, I, yes, her phobia. Okay. Now, do people understand the word phobia? Yeah. Yes. Okay. What What is a simple word for phobia? Fear. 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 Yes. Yes. She is afraid of playing Scrabble. <laughs> okay. And she has been trying to overcome, to to deal with, to eliminate her fear of playing Scrabble for almost forty-five years. So not not forty-five years, but maybe forty-three years or forty-four years. <laughs> okay. So. 
What, what else is important here? Yeah. Yes, go ahead, please. Um, that she can even she can give her. Uh, she can she, even um, and listen that word. Right. So she's good. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. She can't even Scrabble. listen to the word. Scrabble. She starts to hyperventilate. Yeah. To breathe really quickly. <laughs> okay, so she starts panicking, even thinking about Scrabble. And who did this to her? Why is she afraid of Scrabble? Why does she have a phobia of playing Scrabble? Because uh, though in, when she was a child, I think, she had yes. a, a scar in her face. Okay, no, sorry. The, the, the photograph I showed you was just to show you what a scar is. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, it has nothing to do with the story. I just want people to know what a physical scar is. Ah, scar. But she doesn't have a physical scar. Okay. She has an emotional scar. <laughs> okay, okay. So who, who can tell me? Yes. Whose fault is it? Maybe she Who did this to her? <laughs> Enrique? Sorry, yeah. I, I need people to uh, wait for me to to call on you. Uh, Enrique? Or yes. who is speaking to me? Sorry, yeah, Enrique. Yes. And maybe she always lost the game. So that's the reason because she oh, okay. has a phobia okay. now. That's right. Thank you. I'm sorry. That's not correct. But that is a very good reason. Uh, but uh, right now, we don't know why she's afraid of, of uh, Scrabble. But we know whose fault it is. Who mm -hmm. made her afraid of the game? Okay. Uh, at yes, the beginning, it, yeah, there is something here uh, mentioned. Uh, but all parents scare their children in scar. some scar. Sorry, scar yes, their children okay. in some fashion. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, probably um, uh, the parents. Yeah. yeah. So her parents did it to her. Yeah. Okay. So she is afraid of the game Scrabble because of her parents. Okay. All right. But let's move on. Let's move on. I think everybody understands. Okay, and what I'd like to do is to move this down here. Oh, okay. All oh, right, all right. So let's let's read this. And uh, sorry, I'm going to go back to Abdul. Are you there? Yes. Could you please read this for us? B A G. B -A -G. And if if -A -G. everyone else, could I ask all the other students to please turn off their microphones? We have some noise in the classroom. So go ahead, Abdal. B-A-G, I put on the board one evening long ago, proud that I had not only make a word, but used the highest scoring letter B, Moira, that's a terrible novel, move. Move. Mm -hmm. You have left open a a triple word space for anyone who can add an S to bug. My father said. Okay. Uh, and so, sorry, I'm going to get you to stop there. Now, what's happening here then? Anyone? Where are we? Yes. Sorry, yes, who? I, I think... Yeah, okay, go ahead, Enrique. I think uh, they was playing and... When she was a child, she yes. put a, a word. <laughs> she formed a word. Yes. And her partner, her father, uh, um, say that's that was a bad movement because yeah, a terrible move. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do do people understand? Because that was perfect. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and let's take a look at the board. You can see that there are squares with double letter score and uh, double word score. 
So there is a strategy to playing um, Scrabble. But she put B A G, and her father criticized her for that. Okay, and so let's move on to this one. Could you read this for us? Yes, sure. Um, I was crushed. I couldn't even see the remaining tiles because my eyes were swimming in tears. My younger sister got it even worse. They, they are three. You should never waste a trifle letter space on a vowel. The poor thing barely knew what a vowel was. She burst into tears. Uh, let, let, let's stop there. All right. And so the story continues. And what happened? She was very crushed. Yes, she was emotionally crushed. She was very upset. She was very, yes, upset. Yeah. And she was cried. She was crying. Yeah. She was Her crying. eyes were swimming in tears. So she was crying. Yeah. And right? Her younger sister, she was crying too. Right. Because the father was criticizing the younger sister, Deirdre, as well. And they were very young. She and what is a vowel? Vowel A E I U O and sometimes Y. Mm, complete the word. No, no, sorry. Vowels A E I O U. And yeah. sometimes why? Oh, yeah, sometimes so, why? Those are the vowels in English. But okay. you can see that vowels, they only are one. They are easy to use, and so they only give you one point. So okay. sh she put a vowel on a triple letter space. That is bad strategy. <laughs> mm -hmm. But the father made his daughter cry <laughs> okay okay yeah all right and so this father is very serious about playing scrabble okay oh what a what the poor thing oh the poor thing these poor girls <laughs> the, the 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 worst i'm sorry the worst thing the, yes. i mean mm -hmm. it, that, that expression is the worst the worst part is that she 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 was uh, swimming in tears too yes and and the younger daughter burst into tears yeah so that means she literally started crying mm. uh, so yeah great this is the idea okay and if I can go to the next person Enrique could you please read this? And if I can ask everyone else to please turn off their microphones. We still have background noise. Enrique, okay. go ahead, my, please. Yes. Yeah. My parents played once a week with another couple who were also discovered friends. Uh, fiends. They, oh, fiends. <laughs> they all know the most obscure discovered words. They played with amazing strategy and my parents played the same way when they played with us until one day we mutinied. 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 Uh, mutiny? Can anybody look at this picture? This is obviously a joke, but what is happening in a mutiny? Mutiny. Yes? Trying to make you jump. <laughs> uh, well, no, but sorry. Uh, you need to explain it a little bit more. What happens in a mutiny? Trying to rebel. I'm, I'm sorry? Trying to rebel. To rebel, yeah, yeah exactly. Them. Against who? Against their parents. Uh, yes, <laughs> yeah, good. So in this case, it is to, uh, is to rebel. 
rebel. Oh, oh, sorry, it's mutiny. I didn't spell that correctly. To rebel. And so in the picture, the crew are mutinying against the captain <laughs> because the ship is sinking. <laughs> All right, but in this case, finally, one day, the two girls mutinied. They said, this is enough. We're, we're not going to do this anymore. <laughs> okay. All right. And the thing with Scrabble is when you are a Scrabble fiend, you are really, really good at it. And you use very obscure words. These are words that exist in the English dictionary, but nobody knows these words. But they're very good words for scoring points in Scrabble. And they play with a lot of strategy. Okay, and so this is the idea. Yeah. Sorry, I just go ahead. Lorenzo, did you have a comment? Uh, well, I was going to ask you Scramble Fins is like a, a person that wants to trick another? No, but that's a good guess. A fiend. A fiend is someone who is so good at something that they're always trying to think about defeating the other person. They use a lot of special techniques. They use a lot of strategy. They're very, very good at it. Okay. And they can destroy okay. other people. They're so good at it. Yeah, very competitive. Okay. So if you're a chess fiend, you, you are brilliant. You know exactly how to play chess. This is the idea. It's kind of a little bit evil, though. <laughs> okay. So let's keep going here. And if uh, I'm going to move on to, let me see, uh, L Lorenzo, is it your turn? Yeah. Yes, yes, Go it's ahead, my, my turn. Holding my sister's hand, we stood just inside the doorway to the dining room where the scrabble board sat. Its smooth wooden tiles and bright red and blue double and triple space waiting. Spaces. Daddy, spaces waiting. Daddy, we don't want to play anymore. He rode. Why not? Keep going, Scrabble, please. Scrabble is too hard for us. I managed to speak out. Deirdre just nodded. 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 He strode out of the room and down the hall. For such a small man, he could exude great power, and the and he never again asked us to play. <laughs> okay, all right. And so, what happened here? Can I ask you? Yes, of course. Yeah. Um, what does mean? Oh, sorry. And and again, uh, I, I'm I'm hoping that people will download the document so that you can read the text on your, on your computer. But please what, go ahead. What does mean nodded? Nodding. Uh, good. All right. Now remember, what, what is the emotions? How did the girls feel in this situation? How did the little girls feel in this situation? Maybe you're scared. They were very phobia. scared. A phobia. Well, okay, but not really a phobia. They were afraid of their dad because okay. they're mutiny. They're rebelling, and they're saying, we're not going <laughs> to play anymore. But, so the, the older girl was able to squeak out, it's too hard, and the other girl just nodded. Uh, <laughs> okay. She couldn't even speak. They were holding hands, saying, Dad, we're not going to play anymore. Why? He roared like a lion, right? Okay. And then what was the father's reaction? He was very angry. He was very angry. And what did he do? He shut the door. Uh, 
I don't think it says no. He did not shut the door. Oh. I think he roared. Um, yes. I'm sorry. He roared. Yeah, he roared. Yeah. Why not? And then they said it's too hard for us, meaning it's too difficult. Yeah. And she what did he do? She, uh, got out. Yes, he left. To stro mm -hmm. to this is strode, which is passed for to stride. So he just walked out of the room and down the hall. He just walked away. <laughs> and he never asked them to play Scrabble again. <laughs> that was it. Yep. <laughs> okay. So that must have been why she yes. is emotionally scarred. Yeah, go ahead. A comment? Uh, I was meaning for, a, for such a small man. Well, this is uh, this is part of the story. So her father was small; he was short, I guess. But for her, he, he was a very powerful person. Oh. So he was a very small man. I guess he was very short and small, but he was very powerful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a lot of, because he roared, you know, why not? He's so serious about Scrabble. Okay, so let's, let's go. He so said, the girl, he, yeah? He said that he would never again ask us to play. I mean... No, sorry, he didn't say that. He didn't say that. He, he, but he never did. Oh, he never did, yes, yes. Yeah, the action, yeah. so, the action. So he never did. remember... The woman is writing this story now about when she was a little girl. So mm. she is telling you what happened like over 45 years ago. Mm. And he just walked out of the room and he never asked them to play Scrabble again. Uh, it meant that he was uh, heartbroken? Uh, no, could I don't be? know. Uh, yeah, it could be. Maybe he was upset. Or maybe just angry, disappointed with the girls. Yeah, I, it doesn't say. Okay. But it seems like he was angry and just gave up on them and left. All right. So I'd like to have Man, could you read this, please? And just if everyone else could please turn off their microphones. Man, are you there? Okay, we, we can't hear you, man. So I'm going to go on to Mustafa. Oh. Hello? Yes, man. Please read this for us. Okay. <clears throat> Recently, a writer friend of mine sent me any invitation to play any online game. I click it on the link, and there's seeming to blast. Pulsate. Pulsate. In front of my eyes, I was a uh, scrapple board, scrapple board, and there were the titles, uh, tiles, tiles, uh, swing. Yes, swaying. And intenting dance. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. And in the middle, a word. You can call it something else, but this was a scrapple spider crawled down my sp uh, spine. My sp spine. Spine. I clicked exit. Okay. So w before this part of the story happened almost 50 years ago. Now this story happened recently. And what is the what is the story here? What happened recently? And I know this is difficult to understand, but yeah, yeah. Can I ask yes, Ahmad. Uh, um, yeah, okay. It might be an um, an invitation uh, to play this uh, game again, but online. Yeah. Okay, so Scrabble online. All right, and what happened? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. 
Um, I don't understand what this means. Spiders crawl down my skin. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, it means that. Do you know what spiders are? Yes. Okay. So what happened was spiders were crawling down her spine. Uh, okay. So I, she, this is her phobia. I see. Yes, thanks. Yeah. Okay, great. So again, uh, a friend sent her an invitation to play a game online. An online game. So she clicked on the link. And anybody else can tell me what happened? Can you repeat the story here? Maybe. Yes? Maybe she, 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 she didn't know. What well, was going to open? Yes, good. <laughs> I don't think she knew the game, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She just clicked on the link. Uh, yeah, Mustafa? So yeah, okay. Yeah. Sorry. I, uh, Mustafa, do you have a comment? Yeah, I I will just say what uh, Lorenzo said because he she didn't know what is happening on this link and she opened it and just she was surprised. <laughs> yes, and uh, what happened, Mustafa? She yeah, exactly. saw Scrabble. Um, yes. <laughs> and what happened? What did she do? She exit from the game. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So she just clicked exit. She closed the game. She yeah. became afraid, and she clicked exit. Yeah. Okay. So this is her phobia. Yes. She had memories of playing Scrabble with her father. Okay. All right. So let's go with. Um, uh, sorry, uh, Man, uh, is it your turn or who? Uh, Salma. Who's Salma. Salma. Oh, okay. Huh? Sorry. Okay. Uh, but this, despite yeah. my scalpel phobia, my dad had also installed in me a great love of words and grammars. He loved to read his whips. Webster's International Dictionary after dinner. He delight in teaching me a correct grammar and helping me grow my vocabulary. He's uh, the reason I went to law school and I'm now a children writer. Okay, and so is her father a bad person? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, okay. No, she doesn't think he's bad. And she's being funny when she says that she was scarred by her father. <laughs> All right. And so what is the information here? It, it's quite interesting. Yeah. What is she saying here? That her father is, uh, wanted to teach her grammar and vocabulary more. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Yes. So we wanted to teach her lots of grammar, lots of vocabulary, and uh, she, he wanted her to love words. Yeah? Okay. I, I'm sorry, uh, but I, I can ask another student, please? Uh, another idea? What's what's some more information here? I I can see that the father uh, want uh, um, his his daughter to be perfect with words. Okay. He, yeah, can that's imagine right. that he, he's using the Webster International Dictionary. <laughs> it's a very yeah. very good dictionary. Well, look look at it. Yeah. <laughs> this is the, this is the Webster's International Dictionary. Look, wow. look at this one here. A uh, uh, very big. Uh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, this oh is every word uh, in the English language. Huge. A Bible. Yeah. It's a small in front of it. Yes. In by comparison, a Bible oh, is is very small. Very yeah. Small, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so he Terrible. was he loved grammar He's and fascinated. vocabulary. He's yeah, fascinated. he was fascinated. He read it yeah. after dinner. This is what he did as a hobby. As a hobby, right. Read the right. dictionary after dinner. Yeah. Okay. So this is what Almost he was like. 200. 
Sorry? It's almost Again? 200 years old, the dictionary. Oh, the dictionary, okay, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, so he read the dictionary after dinner. And, but what, what is, so then, okay, he made a mistake and he put too much pressure on the little girls. That was bad. But why did he have a good influence on his daughter? Yes. What? He got to last how, how do we know? He was the reason that her daughter went to law school. That his daughter? His, yes, his daughter uh, went to law school. And? And now she's a uh, uh, children's writer. Do, do, do people understand that? Yeah. So what is yeah. she? Can she you use write, other words? What is she now? She writes uh, books for uh, children. Yes, yeah, she's and an lawyer. author and? Lawyer. A lawyer. Okay, great. So, excellent. Good. Let's keep going. And uh, where are we here? Uh, Mustafa, could you read this, please? Yeah. So I went back. I looked at my tiles. I saw a good word I could play on her word. I played it. It felt okay. Before I know it, I had another interview. Envy, invitation, invitation, invitation to play. Go ahead, please. Okay, but this game was different. Uh, this players never opened a terrible word, never played a low, sco a low scoring letter on a terrible letter space, and rarely played fewer than three words at once. This player was from my father's Scrabble school. <laughs> okay, and so. Uh, what what happened here in, in simple words? Yes, yes, he played another game. It's different. It's about word, and she felt uh, better. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, but she is playing Scrabble, so she's playing the same game. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But how but does she feel about it? <laughs> And anybody? How how does she feel now? She's playing Scrabble. She feels uh, good. Okay. She feels good. She feels yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh. And before she knew it, she was playing again. She had another yeah. invitation to play. Uh, the online game. All right. She became expert. Well, and, and why? Uh, because I think. This player, she's referring to herself. She's talking about herself. Oh. I see. That, yeah. Um, this player is she, yes? Well, uh, I, I, I'm trying to think of... I, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm a little confused. Maybe oh. it's the other woman. But the other woman was a very good player just like her father uh, he, she came from her father's Scrabble school uh, and and so yeah sorry I'm a little bit confused let's let's move on so that uh, I know uh, what what's it's happening a, here I, it's I like just, she mm -hmm. was studying in her, he, her father's Scrabble school yeah okay right uh, but let's find out who it is. Selma, could you read this for us, please? Yes, uh, Tentatively. Tentatively, I made a word. She immediately used it and made two more. I lost by a tremendous amount, but I kept playing with her with others. I have five games going right now, and at the moment, although I know it won't last, I am beating. And more importantly, I am having fun because the leg legacy of loving words is stronger than my scrabble scar, which at this point has faded almost to invisibility. <laughs> okay, great. And so it's a happy ending. All right. 
and, and so, yeah, actually, I, I think I made a mistake. I'm sorry. I am wrong. I think she's talking about the woman. The other woman is a very good player. She plays like her father did. And what's, what's the happy ending here? Can, can anyone describe the happy ending? She beat, beat, beat it. Well, she didn't beat her, no. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, yeah. Um, uh, it, initially, fun. she lost. Yeah, the first time she lost by a tremendous amount. So she lost by a lot. Okay? And just if I can get people to turn on and off their microphones, please. You're turning on and then turning off your microphones. But please, uh, some ideas? We have yes. one minute left. Yes. What's the happy ending? Um, I think <laughs> I think the the law for for words is is stronger than the the phobia. Yeah, good. <laughs> and the the trauma of playing Scrabble with her dad. Okay. Yeah. Teacher, and so yes, uh, we can say it's not phobia. It's just you know when some people lose and lose in game, they they feel afraid from this game but when they win they like this game and want uh, to play okay. just to play because they uh, win. <laughs> no no that's good that's good uh, but uh, she's saying though that she's losing she's, <laughs> she's beating the woman right now she's ahead of her but she know that she knows that it won't last that the other woman will score more and win again so she's losing but she's enjoying playing but but your point is good some people are mad and upset because they lose, but not her. She's losing, but she's enjoying it. Yeah. Yeah. And, she's, and she's playing against good players, the same level as her dad. Okay, so truly her Scrabble phobia now is almost gone. And so, yeah, there you go. All right, and so that's it. I have to go. Great work, everybody. That is uh, native yeah, yeah. speaker story that is real English and all of you are reading that and understanding the story so great good job everybody thank, thank you. you talk to you soon thank you thank you thanks to verbling <laughs>